guys <laughs> today is the day i am so so excited beyond excited to store these cards because this is the video that i have been waiting to film since i started <laughs> making videos today we are completing my twice ot9 collection in terms of regular album photo cards like random cards you pull from the album i know this is crazy i have so many twice pcs I have three binders and I also want to talk expansion because I do not want to be done with this. It makes me sad <laughs> so I'm going to talk about how I'm going to expand it because it is my favorite collection by far. So this is the new cover I made. I think it's so cute. I'm obsessed. I couldn't fit all of the members like for these big pictures but it's okay because there's a group shot so anyway then we open to the story begins. I just think that's so cute that this matches the cover. So I have this stack of photo cards today. Uh, it's mostly ready to be like, like all of these are ready to be, so. But I did want to talk about expanding, so I'm going to do that now. And I think I'm also going to do a flip through of all of my pages and show you guys where I'm at with my Twice collection. So we have the adult cards. I'm also working on double sleeving this collection, but that requires getting a lot of sleeves. So I've only done like certain sets and eras so far. So that set's double sleeve, but like the baby cards aren't yet. But yeah, here's the first baby card set. The second one. Then we have Cheer Up. What's that album called? Page two. Okay, it literally says right there. And then I think I showed this in my last video, but I am going to officially put the pre-order cards in the binder and collect all of them um, because I like them. So I just have Young for the Twice Coaster Lane 1 pre-order cards. This set, oh my gosh, the way I overpaid for this card. I don't want to talk about it, but it's okay. Because I don't think I could have gotten it for cheaper unless I waited like a long time to see if I could find a listing but this set which I love so much my Christmas sets which are completely done can you believe that and now we have this page which is not for pre-order cards because I have lane two pre-order cards here so this page is actually for the monographs I decided that I want to collect OT9 monograph cards. So I have all of Chewy's except for two, and I have a few other members for the older eras. So I can finally store a monograph card. I've been wanting to collect the monographs for a long, long, long time. So I'm happy that I'm like in a place where I feel like I can without being overwhelmed since I'm done with like almost all of my other choice cards. So yeah, and the backs are so cute of the monographs too. And we have these sets, which are actually like my favorite lane two sets, are the pre-order cards. Like this one's my favorite, so I find that kind of funny. And then these sets, which were so hard to find. And then we have Signal. Again, a super cute pre-order set. The Hollows, the pink set, and the blue set. I don't know which one's my favorite, the pink or the blue, I like them both. And then the Pose set. And then, again, we have a page for the monographs, and I have Chewy's again, which is so cute. This is one of my favorite Chewy monograph cards, for sure. I love Signal Era, so getting these cards, it's going to look so cute. This might be my favorite, like, set for Signal. Then we have Twice-degram. I almost said Twice Coaster. And we don't have all of these pages done, but again... Just one monograph to store. Hopefully I'll have a lot more. Like I do have kind of a thick stack of monographs, but a lot of them are for the older, or not older, newer eras. Merry and Happy. My favorite set. Well, I, actually I really love this set. I really love the purple background. And then we have Chewy's Merry and Happy. 
so so cute i'm i love them on a rep card so so much and we have what is love i should probably like flip through this like not as fast but i love these sets i like this set because they're like all in their right outfits i think except for jicho she's wearing a different outfit there but that's okay this is like the outfits for the other pre-order set this set's like super random. It's got that um that cursed chewy card and this really dark sauna card. And like some selfies, some non-selfies. Then we have the music video cards. I love the music video cards, even though they're like random. Like, I don't know, I still like them. I love some of these cards. Like Nayeon, Jungyeon, Daehyun, and Chaeyoung are my favorite on this page. Sauna's selfie is really random on this page though. And Chewie's is like almost a selfie, so it's kind of random too. If it was all far away cards, this set would be one of my favorites for sure. Same thing with this one. I wish they were all far away. There's like a few random like close ones, but this set is so cute. This Jonghyun, this Chewie, like top tier. And we have the What's Love set. Yeah, I'm not going to put it in the What's Love order. I'm just going to keep it in member order because it's going to hurt my brain knowing that they're not in member order. I just love it when they're in member order, so. And then we have the other dress set. I actually like this Jihyo card. Like, it's in the middle, so I don't hate it. And then we have this set, which, I'm gonna be honest, it's probably my least favorite set. It's really random, and I don't really like the candy and foods on the cards, but that's okay. It's, it's like, okay. It's just, like, one of my least favorites. And then everyone's favorite, which you cannot blame them, is this set. I think I pulled these two cards from my original albums, which is so lucky because these cards are so difficult to find. Like this Nyon, this Sana, this Jihyo, I could not find like at all. It was so sad. Oh my god. And yeah, I have Chewie's What is Love monograph as well. I'm really nervous about getting these monographs. Because I think What is Love and Summer Nights have like the hardest monograph cards to find. So hopefully I can find them though for like a decent price. I don't know which way these are technically supposed to face since the signature is like sideways too. But I'm going to make them face like this way like she was. Then I'm still missing these two pre-order sets from Summer Nights. But I will get them eventually. <laughs> and then we have this pre-order set which I love with the backs of them. I love the message cards as well. It's one of my favorite sets. And this set, this set is top tier as well. Like Chewy, Nyan, Jungyun are some of my favorite cards I've ever had. And the water border set, I don't like the border, but it's okay. Sand border, again, I don't like the border. And also these two cards are kind of random, but it's okay. Like if it was just Jihyo, it'd be okay. If Daihans was a selfie, but Daihans isn't a selfie. This set is super cute though. I do love this set. This freaking Momo and Daihans are so hard to find. And then the signature set, another favorite. I really love these cards. And finally, guys, this card, this cursed hat Momo card, was the last twice photo card I needed to complete my album card collection. So I'm so happy to finally have Hat Momo and I can put her in her spot. Oh my gosh, look how cute this set is now. That's perfect. That is one of the cutest Momos in my opinion from this era, but like it was ridiculously hard to find and I'm, I don't even know why. Then we have this regular border selfie set. I think I reorganized these a little bit since the last time you saw too, so. Some sets might be in different places, but yeah. Then we have this set, pretty cute. Dance on Ideway set. I really like this set, but my favorite set is at the back, and it's this set, the Summer Nights set. I just love how it's like at nighttime. It's so cute. And then we have this page, which I only have one card for right now, but you can probably see all the empty slots. Um, I have Chewies, of course. But yeah, I have all of the members cards on the way except for Sana and Mina 
I'm really nervous about finding them, but yeah, this set's gonna be like my most completed monograph set. So I'm really excited about that. And that was my first twice binder, what it's looking like now. I also might expand more than just monographs. Like I could see myself picking up the Japanese card sets eventually, so. But for right now, regular album cards, pre-order sets, and monograph cards is like good enough for me, especially since the monographs like fit the eras, so. Oh my goodness, she is thick. This one's like way bigger than my other two. I need to get this binder like two more times for the other collections, but yeah. There she is, she's so heavy. Next we have my second binder, which I haven't made a cover for, but wouldn't it be cute if the cover matched these cards? Anyway, so we start with Yes or Yes, and I have all of the pre-order cards that I stored last video. Can you see these cards in the corner? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, and then we have the hand cards. These concept cards, which I really like. I think this set's so cute. The red border cards, the white border cards. Super random set, by the way. Like Nyon and Jiho and Sana, but those are like better. This set, super cute. Love the concept set. I love these sets too. This one with the white border at the bottom. I love this Momo and Chewy especially. And then for this set, I really love this Momo as well and the Chewy again. Like they're so cute. And then we have this set with, with like the yes in the corner. I think it's kind of random that Momo and Young's yes is at the top of their cards, but it's okay. Then we have the black border set. I feel like this set is super popular and I get why it is like one of the cutest sets from this era in my opinion. And then we have the balloon set, which again does not spell out yes, 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 like it should. It like almost does in a couple of these, but it just doesn't, but that's okay. Again, I just want to keep them in member order. I would like it better that way, but for these monographs, I actually have two members. I have Jongyeon and Chewy. Finally, more than just Chewy, I know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to prioritize getting like Jongyeon and Mina cards since I think that they're like my top three. Top three. Why did I use three fingers when I did that? That's so weird. Anyway. <laughs> oh, these bags are so cute. I love these bags. Wow. And then we have a yeah. Not yes or yes, the year of yes. So I finally have this freaking pre-order set that I've been wanting. And I have all of these photo cards, guys. I also reorganized how I do some of these sets as well. Because I just put them in the sets that I want. I don't follow the templates online. What is this for? This is gonna be for the monograph. I don't have any year of yes monograph cards yet. That's the only era I have none for yet. That's one of the chewies I'm still missing. And then we have these three empty pages, which are actually for the fancy pre-order sets that I still don't have. So I really need to work on getting some fancy sets. <laughs> then we actually start the fancy era, and I completely reorganized this because since the pre-order sets are going to start out the era, I didn't feel the need to start it out with the black border cards anymore, if that makes sense. So I went for more of like their fancy outfits and like my favorite set. So that's the start, and then again with the fancy outfits, like these are the outfits, you know? So I wanted to start with these. And then this one's kind of random, like a couple of the black outfits, some of the other outfits we just saw, and then like some other outfits. This one's random too, but it's the black border one. Then this one is like really, really cohesive, really nice. The only thing is, I kind of wish they all had the blue background, or they all had like a gray black and white background but you know they're all doing the pose they all have they all have like their black outfits on it looks really good and then we have the arena pop set guys I love this set I know that this is like such a high demand set and I know that that can be like super super annoying but like from the second I knew that like these cards existed I remember I saw like a few of these and I was like I need all of them so it is annoying that it's like high demand but like I get it it's so so cute some of my favorites are Nyon, Mina, and Che, I think are my favorites, so yeah, super cute. And then we have this set. 
another ring pops on it, just not the same one. Same outfits, really love Tay again. A couple blue border or blue background ones again, but super cute set. One of my favorite sets from Fancy is actually this set though. Dahyun is so crooked, but that's okay. I'll fix her. This is when we get into like those cozy outfits that they wore. This set is so cute. I love their names in the bubbles. I love Sana's card, especially. Why did my voice do that? I'm sorry. I love Sana's card, especially. I love Chan's card. I love Momo's card. Tui, me, not all of them. And then this set, again, top tier, so good. Even though Dahyun's isn't a selfie, like, I don't even mind. It doesn't stand out, you know? And then I fancy you. Finally, we got a set where it spells out what it's supposed to in age order. That is so satisfying. Why they didn't do that for the other couple of sets they did, I have no idea, but that's okay. For Fancy, again, I just have one, which is Chewy. I wish I had more though, because I love Fancy era, but I'll get them, so it's no worries. Plus, the backs of these are like so pretty. Sorry that my voice keeps like cutting out and doing weird stuff. I don't know why that's happening. But yeah, I'm still missing two pre-order sets for Feel Special. But again, I'll probably just like buy the whole sets off Makari or something. I just totally skipped this. I love these cards. These cards get hated on because they're like very flimsy and thin, which I get. But like, I just love the concept cards so, so, so much. And then we have, you know, their selfies. Fun fact. This was the first OT9 set I've ever completed. Is that not like... That hits me right in the feels because I love collecting twice and I can't believe I just started with OT9. <laughs> like, that's crazy. But, yeah. And if you are thinking about collecting OT9, you do not have to go, like... You don't have to do it the same way I did where you just, like, jumped into collecting, like, all of the eras. You can collect, like, some sets, some eras, some members, etc and then like slowly work your way up. That's probably the more normal thing to do actually. <laughs> so yeah, don't let OT9 like scare you because it's actually really easy to collect. Like twice is probably the easiest group to collect just in general, <laughs> like they're one of them. And then, you know, we have all these sets and these outfits which are so cute. This one's probably my favorite. I love the flower set. And then we have this set as well. And then, oh my gosh, the way it took me years to find this guy on. But, you know, this set, which is complete as well. This set, one of my favorites for sure. Like, I mean, I keep flipping and then flipping back, but like, the colors are so satisfying. I love Sama's card. Cheyenne's. Nayeon. Daehyun. Mina. I love them all. I have the brown, like, glittery border. I actually think this is really cute and really underrated. I remember I pulled this dot here and I thought it was so funny. And then the brown, like, Polaroid border. Did I pull any cards for this set? I cannot remember. I don't think I did. I could be wrong, though. We are finally onto the Feel Special monograph cards, though. And again, I just have these two members. <laughs> I'm noticing a theme. It's either Chewy or Jong Yeon and Chewy, but that's okay. Because I actually have more members coming up for the other sets. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Again, the backs are so nice. I still need like all of these pre order cards too. And then technically, actually, this was the first OT9 set I had because I pre ordered one more and more album and it was my first twice album. So, <laughs> and then we have this pre order set as well. This Nyon, I think, might have been my first pull of Twice ever, which is so funny because it's like the freebie set that everybody hates. I think it's cute though, I don't mind it. I also pulled this Che in my first album. I love this set a lot. I really love Chewy. Chewy's more and more cards are top tier. The red set, I pulled this Nyon in that album too. The black border set. This set. I love this sauna. It's one of my favorite twice cards of all time is the orange haired sauna. And then this set, that Jihyo I also pulled in my first album. Just little fun facts. This set is so cute. Like this Chewy, this Jongyeon. Like you have to be joking, you know? And then the 
freaking signature border set. The way that this set was so difficult to complete, but I finally did it. I actually had it complete for a long time. I don't know why I'm acting like I just now completed it. Oh, I just skipped over this set. Black and white set. I think it's cute. I pulled my on and Jong Yong in one of my albums. And the gold set. The units. I didn't pull any unit. I was so sad. I did pull a group card though. It was my other card. My first album. And then... <laughs> Again, it's just Chewy. I keep saying like, oh, I have more members for the monograph cards, but I don't. It's just Chewy. <laughs> No, I do. It's just not yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I guess we can look at the back. That's really pretty. That's gonna be such a cute set. So that was all for this binder. Our next binder, I have a lot of ready to be to put away, so that's gonna be really exciting. But yeah, like as you guys can see, it's just the monographs and the pre order cards. Everything else is done. Okay, so for this binder, it opens up to eyes wide open, but that might change when I get like bigger binders. I might move eyes wide open if it fits into the other one. But for this, we can Oh, I forgot I'm doing a flip through. I was like, we can skip. I should probably show. So we have the pre-order cards. Then we have this cursed, cursed set. Along with this set, which is super, super cute actually one of my favorite sets of all time so so gorgeous this is gorgeous as well no it's not i just lied this set is so cursed but i say that all the time so it's okay i don't have to say it again this set is super cute though it's one of my favorites this set cute as well just wish sauna was a non selfie this set is interesting <laughs> you know that's what it is we all see it. Um, <laughs> then we have the red set, which is super cute. I love Nyon. I love Momo. I love all of these cards. And this set, which is probably my actual favorite, is the yellow outfit set. I love Momo's cards so much, especially, honestly, like, the whole top row, Chewy. I just thought I love them all. Chi Hyo Min and I love them all. And the backs of these cards. I wish that they'd bring the member colors back. I know that that like gives away which member you're gonna pull if you have the colors like memorized like I do, but I really don't care. I think that the backs are cute and I'm happy to pull any of them, so if they brought back the member colored backs, I'd be very happy. This set, which is also one of my favorites, super gorgeous. Again, like Jongyang, Momo. It's too cute. We have a couple new members to add. For the I Can't Stop Me monographs, by the Eyes Wide Open ones, I mean, we have three members. We have Nyan, Sana, and then we have Chewy, who actually, like, matches the previous set, because she's in her denim here. Cute. I think there's some other ones in this, too. I cannot remember, though, honestly. Gorgeous, stunning, love it. <laughs> then we come on to Taste of Love. I love these pre-order cards so much. They're just so satisfying to look at all the concept cards, like especially this set. Then we have the normal selfies for the taste version. The drink selfies, which are my favorite. This is my favorite set for this era. So cute. I love Mina's card so much. Her curly hair was so good. Then we have the Fallen sets. I I mean, these sets exist. I don't really feel strongly about them, though. <laughs> there are definitely some, like, my least favorite toy sets, to be honest. But that's okay, because this set makes up for it. That's one of my favorites as well. <laughs> and, like, everyone, like, hates... Or, no, I shouldn't say everyone. A lot of people hate how they see, like, the phone shadow in the cards. But I think it's just really cute, honestly. And, like, this top row, again, is top tier, in my opinion. I think the backs are super cute, too, for that era. And I finally... Okay, this is probably... As of right now, it's my most completed set. 
which is funny because I actually don't have twoies for this set. I need twoies, the year of yes, and her taste of love monographs, and I'm finished with her monographs. But I have like these four members, so that's really cute. It's a, my first time having these members, so this set's gonna be really cute. I really love Taste of Love. It was one of my favorite eras from them. Then we have Formula of Love. We have these pre-order sets. They have four sets this time with four different concepts, which I really like. Like if you're gonna have four pre-order sets, having four different concepts is the way to do it in my opinion. Unlike between one and two that decided to throw the complete version at us, which was just a combination of the concepts and the pre-order set was literally just the first concept again. But anyway, I love these cards. So my favorite like twice scratch message whatever cards are these cards. Then we have like the teacher stem set. <laughs> the break break it set. I love this geo so much. I love that set. These sets, the Diane Heart Cheeks, the Bratz Momo, this set is one of my favorites of all time. It's so cohesive. It's so pink. It's right up my alley. <laughs> then we have the pastel sets, which I really, really, really like these sets. Like, look at how cute they are. Literally obsessed. I'm so sorry. It just got randomly, like, really dark in here. I'd really appreciate it if the sun just would, like, come back out for a minute. But anyway, this is the result box. Anyway, this is, like, the result file version. Um, I like this set a lot. I love the glasses. It was, like, more pricey than a lot of other twice cards. Then we have the monograph, which this monograph is actually really, really cute. And it's the last monograph they've ever done. I don't think they're going to do them anymore, but which makes me kind of sad, but it's like, I get it. And part of me is actually kind of happy that they don't do them because I know I'd feel the pressure to buy them and they can be so expensive. But that's okay, because I have these cards. <laughs> and these two are like my set two vices, so yay. Then we have Between One Two, which was one of my favorite eras, one of my favorite title tracks, some of my favorite cards. like. It's such a good era for twice talk that talk was. Um, and then we have the cryptography version. My favorite concept was the Pathfinder version. And then we have these cards, which is what was the first one called? Archive. It was just the archive concept again. The message cards, which again, I just wish that they were all far away. Cause I think that would have been so much cuter, but that's okay. This set, which is super cute. The sun came back out. I'm so happy. I love this sauna a lot. Super cute set. And Momo's cards this era. I pulled her whole set and I'm so happy because her cards are so cute. I was also really lucky to pull like all but two of these. I think that these, no, yeah. I pulled all of these cards except for Dakin and Jihyo. And I was so happy to pull all of these cards. But this Jihyo was like one of my main priorities and it was so hard to find a trade for her. I ended up buying her, but that's okay. And then we have this concept, super cute. This Jihyo card is like top tier. And then the Pathfinder sets, which is my favorite concept, but some of my least favorite sets because they're kind of random. Like this is all selfies, but like these two are very close, whereas Nyon's is like far away. You know, it's just kind of random. It got dark again, but that's okay. Then we have this set, which this could have been my favorite so easily if they were all selfies holding the phone. Like these four cards are some of my favorites. They're so cute, but like, I just wish that these ones matched them. Chewy's like almost does. Momo's like kind of almost does, but it's okay. Then we have Ready to Be, yay, we're actually gonna store some more cards, so I'm sure we've all seen these for order sets a billion times by now. So, for the cards I wanna store for this, I actually have Jangyeon. I have all of them, <laughs> but I was missing Jangyeon, Sana, 
Mina. I hate how thick these are and the way that they fall out of the sleeves. And Chewy. I pulled a million nylons. I was just happy I could find trades for all of the, the rest of the cards I needed. These are like really thick. I wish that they weren't so thick, honestly. But... I'm finishing my favorite set. I'm finishing like, all the sets, but I'm finishing my favorite one right now. Which is definitely their ready concept. It's just so pretty with the background, like Nyon, Jihyo, Sana, Dahyun. They're all just so pretty. Changyun, Momo. Who am I missing? Mina, Chuiche, they're all pretty. I'm obsessed with that set. And then these sets, which I actually just kind of reorganized it to be what I wanted. Like, these aren't the set sets if you follow, like, templates online, but I don't think it matters. So, for this page, I just have this Mina. Basically, I think that this set is like my favorite cards and the next set is just like the cards i liked a little bit less than the other set that's how i decided to do it but i might mix it around and then there's that set done and i did the same for the b concepts i just did like my favorite cards are on this page and then like the cards that i like but like a little bit less are on the next page This tree is actually a little bit damaged, but I have a replacement coming in a trade, so it's okay. But yeah, like these are my like favorites, and these are my like, not that I don't like these cards, they're just like the ones I didn't choose to be my favorites between the two sets. And then another one of my favorite sets is the Moonlight Sunrise, the Digipack set. I finally have Mina's card. And that is that set complete. This set's so pretty. It's definitely like this one and the ready one are the best sets of this era for sure. And the backs of these are the prettiest. So this might be my favorite set. It's so pink and cute and bright. And then for these, I changed up the order because I saw somebody else put the like orange background ones in the middle. And I was like, that makes so much sense. Um, and I liked having like the sideways ones on the right, so that's okay. But yeah, that was the last unit card I needed, so that's it. <laughs> that is my entire twice OT9 regular album photo cards all stored and completed. And for this binder, the only set, I only have two sets I need to work on for this binder, which is three sets, I take it back, which is Eyes Wide Open, Taste of Love, and Formula Love Monographs. But yeah, that's like all of, that's my Twice of Teen collection, like, done. So now I just move on to like the big inclusions, and like this extra two-way card I have. This is actually, I think it's a Japanese card, and like I said, in the future I might collect some Japanese sets, probably all of them, in the future future, not right now, but. So yeah, I'm going to store this Chewy card and show you guys my big inclusions if you're interested. So yeah, but that was it for the regular album photo card. So if that's all you came to see, I get it. <laughs> so let's move on to the big inclusions and my Chewy binder. I actually have plans for this binder. I'm going to expand my Chewy collection, I think, to collect like pobs, especially for like between one and two era and maybe even like ready to be era. Um, but yeah, I have this Chewy card. I think I was just gonna put it here. This is just random non-album Chewy stuff that I just either somehow got, like this one was gifted to me by Mutual, which was so kind, and these other ones I just decided to buy. And like, this one was traded for like some other random card. 
And yeah, so it's just like random chibi cards, her, the icon cards. This is a pop up shop card, I think, and like her sticker. I also have Nyon in here, so I figured I should probably do like a little Nyon collection tour since this is my twice video. So she is complete. I really love Nyon's cards. This was such a good era for her. Her little solo debut was so cute. It did so well. And then I pulled all of her Polaroids. And yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, for this binder, I could totally see myself like reorganizing this or maybe just putting some pages back behind like these ones of like pogs because there are some really cute pogs. I also thought about collecting her lucky draws from like Formula of Love and stuff because it's just, it's so cute. But yeah, I'll get on to my large inclusions now. So here's my large inclusions binder that you guys have probably seen a few times with this Taste of Love cover, but basically I know some people don't really care about large inclusions and I understand that. I just like them and thought I'd like to collect some, so I just do a tour. I don't have any to store. I already stored all of them, but I thought I'd do a tour. So, so these are the Twice Coaster Lane 1 postcards. I think there's only the three, right? And then Signal. I'm actually missing one Signal one. That's okay. And then I have a couple random sticker sheets from Twistagram. Um, I'd like to complete this OT9 eventually, I think, but for right now it's okay. And then I also have, I don't know if you can tell, but I have Chaeyoung and Mina. They were the ones I pulled, and I also have probably Chewies coming on the way. Um, so yeah, I eventually want to click this OT9, I think it would look so cute. And then I just have one. What is love like sticker or not sticker sheets like a bookmark isn't it i actually pulled the other one with chewy and chaeyoung but i damaged it because that's just how i am i guess so really unfortunate but it's okay and then i have all of these because i actually pulled all of these they're from yes or yes the like film strips or whatever then we have both fancy sticker sheets there's only two right I think so. And then I have all of the fancy lenticulars as well. I really love the fancy lenticulars. I think that they are so cute. That's definitely like one of my favorite large inclusions twice I've ever done. And then I have Chewy. I have her like lyric book for Feel Special. I have two um more and more coasters. I had Chongyuns as well, but again, I damaged it. But again, I think I'd like to collect OT9 for this eventually, and I think I might have Mina's on the way. And then I'm just missing Mina for this because I have the other three on the back. Not a big priority, but like if I have money and I see it up for sale, I'll buy it. Or if I can find it in a set with like other stuff I need. And then I like accidentally collected all of these. Like, I bought seven albums and pulled seven different members, and I bought Momos and Chico's because I was like, why not? And then for these, I think I have Daihans as well. I know that this isn't an age order, by the way. Um, three of them, like, are horizontal, so I just put the horizontal ones at the top and went as in age order as I can. So when I get Daihans, it'll actually go on this page with the middle line because Mina's is horizontal, so I put it on the last page, but I think I have Dian somewhere, I just need to find it. So I think I'm just gonna say Nyan Momo, and I think that's it. Cause yeah, I do have Mina. We have the Lenticulars for Taste of Love. I had these in my binder, but I was afraid that they might like damage the other cards. I was really scared of that, so yeah, it's okay though because now they're in here, and they can live in the big inclusions after, that's fine. Same thing with these, they just like weigh a lot, and I honestly might put the ready-to-be message cards in here just because they're so thick. 
I really like these ideas though. I think they're so cute. And then this is completed. It's the formula book postcards that I decided to collect. I remember I like lost this Chaeyoung and I was like, I could have sworn I had that Chaeyoung. I, I found it. <laughs> and then I pulled this Chaeyoung for the final version. I was gonna trade for Chewy's, but this Chaeyoung, um, it ended up getting like pretty damaged because I had it like out of a sleeve and stuff, which is totally my fault. And then I have these in nylon. I have these like in one sleeve all together. I think they're so cute. I just happened to pull all of these like I did with the Polaroids because I just got a full set of Nyon albums and I ended up pulling all of those which I thought was so cute because I really like those. And then we have these sticker film strips which are totally complete. But yeah, I have these in sleeves now so they kind of sit in the middle of the page. I think that's super cute. I'm still missing Nyons. I have an extra Jong Young if anyone wants to trade, but I have the rest of them. <laughs> and then we have the Between Women postcards, which again, are fully complete. And then we have Ready to Be, which I fully completed these postcards as well. The last one I needed was Jong Young's and I just bought it instead of trying to trade. Because trading big inclusions is so annoying. And then I have all of these as well. All of the Moonlight Sunrise postcards, super cute. I really like these postcards and how they fit in these sleeves, so. And then we have the stickers, which I almost have ready to be totally complete. I just need this last Momo sticker. I have an extra Diane if anyone wants to trade. It's listed on my Instagram. And then we have the unit and group cards. So I have all Story Begins, all page two. I have a few more and more, but not a lot. This was the other more and more card I pulled my first album and then oh a kind subscriber actually gifted me this last unit that i needed for this concept so i almost have this done kind of it's just one nine pocket page so i'm just missing four of the units and then i have the formula of love group card that i have it makes me so mad that this one's like facing the other way but that's okay it's fine. <laughs> then we have the pre-order cards, so there's only two for what is love, so this filler is going to stay in here, but I still need these Summer Nights ones, and then this page will be complete. I need the- I have one fancy group card that was like given to me as a freebie, so I put it in here, but I need the other fancy and feel special cards. Again, there's just going to be filler here because there's only two for the year of yes. This page is actually going to be fully complete when I get this last card, which is going to be so, like, satisfying looking. This page is fully complete, it's just going to have the filler in the middle. And then this page, for now, is complete. Hopefully they'll have, like, just three versions for their next, like, two albums. That way it'll be, like, ready to be next album and then the next album. That would be ideal. <laughs> But yeah, and then I have some random TT stickers that I couldn't get to fit anywhere. <laughs> so yeah, that is my entire Twice collection. Well, inclusions wise. I also own, I also collect their albums. But I don't have my shelf set up yet because I just moved. But I'm going to be making a video about setting up my shelves just for K-pop in general. For all my Twice albums and other albums. And... Yeah, so I guess you'll see my Twice album collection there. So yeah, that's it for my Twice collection. I hope that you guys stay tuned, even though I'm done as of right now with their album cards. I hope that you guys stay tuned for me storing monographs, maybe expanding more the pre-order cards and albums to come. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to other videos I'm making, like me setting up my shelves and I'm also going to be like expanding my Kepler collection, storing other photo cards for other collections. So yeah, if you like this, please comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.